All right, should we take bets? Let's see, mom's gonna cry by the time we hit the kitchen. I'm gonna do it when we hit the top of the stairs. That's the part that I figured I would never ever see finished. take a nice little tour. So they've begun the, how long ago did we begin the construction? So the addition was started in 2019. In 2019, John began construction on his two bedroom home to create more space for his family of seven. However, just months into construction, COVID hit. This caused his progress to be slowed significantly as he had to wait on materials and funds in order to finish out all that he had begun. And they were living basically in a partially framed home. He really wants a dining room table. The plan was this to be a bedroom, bathroom up here for the kids. Uh, Dan and Jackie wanted to take this whole thing out. This was the playroom. Darcy's been here and John's been. So this would just be gone. And two years later, just as construction had started to pick up a little bit, that's when they found out that Timmy had been diagnosed with leukemia. Having a four-year-old myself, I can't imagine the sadness that would accompany an experience like that. John would tell us later that there were many times while Timmy was in the hospital that he'd find himself in a pile on the floor, unable to, to stand and face all of the, the sadness and the grief that they were experiencing. So with medical bills mounting and stress and devastation that cancer brings, that's when Jackie with Christmas for Cancer Families was made aware each year at Christmas time, I look for some families that are suffering the effects of cancer. The longer I pondered on this family, the more strong impressions I had that this family really could use our help. That's when Jackie talked to Lexi Walbeck with Uplift Mission. This year was a little bit different though, in that Lexi was six months pregnant, and she lived four hours away from the project that I wanted her to join me in, and she agreed. We started assembling a team. We got Dan with Pan Holmes to be in charge of the construction aspects. I don't know if they did this right. It looks like it's just held by bolts. We also had Dan Hathaway, our cabinet man, on site because cabinets are something that take a lot of time and are really expensive and we were going to need a lot of cabinetry in this home. You could easily wrap it around the side. You could put an island right in here. You can have a walkway on both sides. So you can access everything, get into that room. So with our core team in place and a six week window where the Millers would be moved out living in a rental temporarily, we set to work to make the magic happen. Behind here is the addition. So we're gonna open this whole wall up. We're gonna open this up and open up this wall so that it's just one big living area. All of this stuff, rip it out. a mess. <laughs> Jackie was saying over and over again, Dan, I hope you're right and I hope we really needed to rip all of this out because this is a nightmare. <laughs> I could not understand why Dan wanted to take those ceilings down. And I'm so sorry, Dan, you were right. It really just opened that whole area up and made each room feel a lot bigger.
Jackie. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Partner. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Yeah, how you um, doing? Thanks for coming. We yeah, really you bet. Your help. The framing process was a lot more extensive than we initially anticipated. So we were worried we wouldn't be able to stay on our time frame. That's when I got a call from Austin Agrin with Agrin Construction and was offering all the help that he could give with framing and drywall. Austin showed up on the job with a whole team of framers that he donated for an entire day. And the amount of work that they were able to get done in that day was astounding. This ceiling, take it all out. Jackie got a call from Scott Livingston and they came the following day to finish the job up. So just take these two out and that, cut that out, take this ceiling. So it was definitely a team effort of passing the baton from person to person, but we did finish framing in three days. It's a whole new house. It looks really awesome. They opened this up really nice. There's gonna be an island that goes this way, right through here. There was a really cold front that week with the weather and the drywall just would not dry. What could have been maybe four or five days turned into seven, eight. Next, we had our very generous donation from Ogden's Flooring and Design. They gave us all of the material at cost and made it possible for us to complete this project within our budget. So we are using it for base. I'm using it for base. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> this is it, man. Yeah. So, okay, me and Nate, I'll start on the Yeah, we'll, just, we'll knock out this one. I'll go upstairs, so go ahead and start cool. those bedrooms. Trim is something that's really hard to get right now with COVID shortages, and Barry Bickmore with FJP, he had some trim set aside to give to some of his higher-end clients, but he, he donated all of the trim and the doors for the entire home. <laughs> trim finished, we were ready to paint, and Mike Hendrickson with Hendrickson Painting donated all of the labor and the material to paint that entire 4,200 square foot home. Dan, do you live here? <laughs> <laughs> Just for a week. You're awesome. Once the paint was finished, Dan Hathaway had his work cut out for him installing the cabinets throughout the entire home. He set to work immediately to get those bases laid as quickly as possible. Then we had Nick, who was our countertop guy. He worked to get everything measured and fabricate those countertops within just four days. 
All this time we had our tile guys working hard in our bathrooms to finish up our showers. Modern Tile donated all of the tile for the whole house. While all this was going on inside the home, Richie Gaynor with Unique Exteriors was working hard on the exterior of the home and donated all of the stucco, siding, labor that went into finishing that. With the construction of the home now complete, it was now time to move in all the furniture and all of their personal belongings and do all the decorating. Home is where the Our shoppers were Tammy Ogden, Lucy Walbeck, and Melinda Folks. They did a lot of work that entire six weeks of finding deals and getting things donated. And Jordan and Katie Towner at Woven Nook donated all the pillows for the entire home again and rugs and blankets. Sarah Davies at The Piano Place offered to help us coordinate moving the piano out of the home, refinishing it and bringing it back. There's no way that we could possibly keep track of or mention every single person or item that was donated or volunteered, but there were so many. Every time I come in, I'm just amazed. Collectively, this project wouldn't have happened without each and every single one of them. After six weeks of intense stress, the day had finally come to reveal the home to the Millers. All right, should we take bets? Let's see, mom's gonna cry by the time we hit the kitchen. I'm gonna do it when we hit the top of the stairs. That's the part that I figured I would never ever see finished. I'm alive, baby, I'm thriving. <laughs> I feel like celebrities. Oh, yeah. I'm sit down and take it in for a while and you're like, Whoa. Watching the family come home to begin a new life in a beautiful space where they could find peace and strength and order made it all worth it. I drew this all and on the screen it's very small and nice, you know. Right, right. And then we started building and it was like, whoops. This is big. So. Stop casting now. Oh. Oh. Remember this area? Kind of a dungeon <laughs> down here, wasn't it? It was. Cool. We've got some before and afters for you to watch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see all the work everyone put in. <laughs> I learned through this experience that even though I personally could not have made this project happen or made that much of a difference, when we come together collectively as a community and a team, 
really grand things can happen, miraculous things. And what was small sacrifices for each of us became a life change for the Miller family. Tossed in like a castaway, what we wanted, not what we thought we wanted. Tossed in, you couldn't see it coming. What we needed, not what we thought we needed. Don't give up, don't give in. During a time when the world is pumping so much fear into people and so much division, it was incredibly refreshing to me to be involved in a project where no one knew what race, religion, political belief system anyone was from. All of these people came together for the common good of helping a family in need. Watching, waiting patiently from where riches flow. My heart is sure to follow. This project is proof again that there is a God who is aware of us and knows the needs of his children. And at the end of the day, the way that he meets those needs is through all of us. Won't give up. Won't give in. Take everything we have and let the new begin. You don't have to be the president of the United States. You don't have to own a large corporation. All you have to do is wake up and make a choice that you're going to look for a way to be the change that you want to see in the world today. And that's why it's important for us as neighbors and as a community and as friends to reach out and lift and love the people that we're surrounded by. I love you so much. I I believe in you. I know that you are strong enough to deal with this. You're amazing. You're resilient. You can do it. I love you. Bye. Tossed in like a castaway What we wanted Not what we thought we wanted Tossed in You couldn't see it coming What we needed Not what we thought we needed Don't give up Don't
from where riches flow My heart is sure to follow Over here It can seem much clearer What you wanted was always only what we needed Won't give up Take everything we have and let the new begin Won't give up